Yeah, most of the guys, they ask me a lot of questions to tell me more about uh, your island, how is it and what we do here, uh, hockey, is it famous, more famous than soccer and so, so I have to explain every year. So uh, the name is Saint Pierre in Miquelin. It's a small uh, French island next to Canada. So uh, yeah, it's pretty small. We don't see it on the map. And uh, when I explain to the guys there, they look at me like, "Is it people on that island?" Or, but no, it's a French island. Yeah. It's uh, five kilometers on five kilometers. So uh, we're six thousand people there, and uh, yeah, it's pretty small. But uh, the good thing is that we're you're close to everything. So in a minute you can be uh, at the sea, and in another minute you can be in the mountains. So uh, that's a good part of it. French speaking, so uh, uh, yeah, we, we speak French, the money is uh, Euro, and, uh, but we live like North Americans, so houses, cars, uh, food, uh, TV, channels, uh, everything is North American, yeah. There is one uh, hockey club, so uh, from the young age to uh, 18, and uh, we got four or five tournaments uh, in Canada during the years. And uh, in senior, is just they play for fun. But there's two teams, and uh, so, and they they play hard hockey. They fight a lot, even if they know each other. It's the, that's how we play hockey there. And uh, of course, we got big uh, big impact with the NHL. So everybody is uh, is watching NHL a lot. So uh, we love that sport. The hockey team in my island is part of the um, uh, Hockey Canada because there is Newfoundland just next to it and we, we got many tournaments in Newfoundland for all the, um, the age, you know, so all the hockey teams and uh, we are part of that program also so it's uh, really complicated but, uh, but uh, we are part of French uh, Federation but also to that Newfoundland team. So. Language is, uh, of course, we speak French, but I would say that we don't have the same mentalities. We're, I don't know, it's hard, it's hard to say because uh, it's so hard to explain. We live like North Americans, so we don't see the life maybe the same way or, uh, but, uh, but it's pretty easy to adapt and uh, it wasn't that hard for me to adapt. I made meet a lot of friends in uh, in France and uh, and so far uh, like I'm happy to have those two experience like home and uh, Europe experience also is really great. Yeah, that's weird because uh, that's true that we're close to Canada, so it could be more easy for us to go there. But uh, like I said, we're French, so we got the European uh, nationalities. And uh, that's why there's a couple guys on my island, they play in France. And uh, in me, I'm here in Czech, so, uh, so I don't know why we, nobody tried to go there. So uh, I was 15 and I went to a first uh, national team uh, camp and uh, yeah, it was a big shock for me coming from a big, uh, a small island and jumping into France, big country. Uh, first time I saw trains, uh, buses, I was, oh my God, what is that? And a lot of people, of course. And uh, yeah, it was kind of shock because different culture also. And uh, yeah, I just adapt myself. And now uh, it's been 15 years that I'm away from home. So, but I'm always happy to go back. It was in 2015 in, uh, in Czech Republic, in Prague. So uh, yeah, good memories. Uh, rink was full and uh, playing against uh, amazing players. Uh, Sine Crosby, uh, Jaromir Jagger and all those guys was... Uh, I watched them on TV when, when I was younger and uh, played against them. It was uh, really cool. So uh, 2015, 2016, 17, 18. 
and uh, yeah, it's my fifth. I did fifth of it, and yeah, in France it was great, like playing home, and uh, uh, and for us it's not um, it's not common because uh, football is the first sport, main sport, and hockey we don't talk about it that much. But I think uh, we did well, even if we didn't went to quarterfinal. But we we fight well until the end, and uh, we beat uh, Finland five to one, and uh, some good results against Canada and all those those hockey country. But uh, yeah, it's really something special to play at home, and uh, I know that Latvia they're gonna have it soon. So uh, so I'm quite sure they're gonna enjoy it. Of course, Olympic Games is uh, the biggest target because it's been a long time that uh, France didn't be part of it. So, uh, so uh, we have a good, uh, a big, um, a big event coming at the end of the, this summer. So uh, we're gonna go in Latvia for uh, for fighting for the Olympic qualification. So uh, that's the federation and the French national team players uh, um, target for sure. I think it's both of the team, like uh, because we, we used to play against each other uh, for many years. Uh, for example, Ralph is same age as me, and I uh, played already against him when I was under 18 at the World Champs. So, and uh, every year we play them in a tournament during the season. So uh, uh, we know pretty much uh, those two teams. So, uh, so it's hard battle every time. And Latvia got good team, good skills, and uh, they fight hard until the end. So. Uh, and French team were kind of same, I think, so uh, that's why sometimes there is a little fight. Of course, I'm proud that um, uh, to go world champs every year and uh, play in hockey country, that's uh, something that I like and I uh, work hard for that also, so, uh, so just hope it's going to keep going like that.